Hi, Jessica Sporn here to show you how I did a quick and easy little Valentine's uh, canvas. I started off with a six by six piece of chipboard that I had previously collaged and spread modeling paste on. I took out my Neocolor crayons in Valentine's -y colors and just started scribbling. And then I took this water bottle, which actually belongs to Margie Kemper. I will give it back to you, Margie, and sprayed some water on it. I let it drip down. I added some more color and just was kind of playing with the color here. At this point, I'm thinking that the gessoed areas will, or the modeling paste areas will act as a sort of resist. And so I dab on this paper towel and lo and behold, it pretty much takes off all the Neocolor crayons but it made a very pretty paper towel, which I decided I would use later on. So now I'm going back in, adding some more Neocolor crayons and also some Derwent Inktense blocks. You can see I have them out here. I'm adding some uh, yellowy green, sort of a citron color around the outside and going back and forth with a baby wipe, adding some color on, wiping some color off. So this is the medallion stencil from Stencil Girl Products. I'm cutting out a mask um, to put over the heart. It's not exact, but it will do. Place my medallion stencil on and start spreading Viva Decor uh, Gold Special Effects paste through the medallion stencil. And I'm using a baby wipe just to clean up the edges here. And I like the kind of lacy pattern that this has made. Um, and usually I would wash the stencil off right away, but instead I'm taking my baby wipe and I'm scrubbing um, whatever paste is on there onto some tags to use at another time. This is an embossing pen from Ranger, and I'm just going around the edges of my six by six square because I want to add black uh, embossing powder around the edges. So I'm going to take my embossing powder with a little spoon and just sprinkle around the edges. And I'm really liking how this black looks up against the gold and the pink. I have to say that every time I use embossing powder, I'm like a little kid, like, look, magic! It changes from powder to this shiny, plasticky thing. And you know what? I want more of it, so I'm going to take my embossing pen which is just kind of like glue in a pen form and I am going to add some more powder so I can have even more shiny black stuff around the edges of my little canvas here. Anyway, I'm using a dry brush just to take some of the powder away from areas where I don't want it and here comes the magic again. So now I'm taking some portfolio uh, pastels. They're oil pastels, but they're water soluble. And just going around the edges of the heart here, sort of bringing a little bit more black into the uh, heart area. Adding a little red, just having a little playing time. And here comes this paper towel again. So I decide that I am going to use this paper towel for the inside of this heart. And I'm just going to squirt matte medium right onto the heart and adhere my paper towel down. It's not an exact fit, which is no problem because I can just rip off little pieces of paper towel and squish them in until it covers the whole inside of this heart. So now I'm taking the Sporn Flowers Positive Stencil from Stencil Girl and placing it on this heart. And I'm gonna add a little pouncing with some titanium white just to give the heart a little bit of texture. And when I take the stencil off, it's just a little too bright for me. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow just to blend it into the um, gold side area a little bit more. And 
And this is a Derwent Inktense pencil that I'm taking to just bring back some of that black on the inside of the um, heart outline. So sometimes you look at something and it's done, and other times you think, mm, it just needs a little something something. So now I'm taking some Viva Decor modeling paste in Pearl, and I am spreading it through the hearts in one of my three trees stencils. So these stencils are actually um, Christmas tree stencils, but nobody said that you only can use them for Christmas. And I like these little hearts a lot and they seem to work here. I had these two butterflies in my stash. They're little butterfly stickers. So I'm just painting them with the same reds that I used for the inside of the heart. Before I glue them down, I am covering the entire heart with glazing medium just to get rid of some of the porous um, aspect of that paper towel. Drying it with my dryer. And then I think, well, that I need some gold in there. So I'm taking some yellow, a yellow gelato and just adding that to the butterflies. Here I'm adding a little detail to the butterflies with black paint and a rigor brush. That's my long skinny brush. And then I'm writing a sentiment, you make my heart flutter, which seems to go with the butterflies, and adding it to my heart, uh, covering the words with glazing medium to make them shiny, and I'm done. I hope this gave you some ideas. Please share this video. And please visit me at my blog, jessicasporn.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.